please this is a very sensitive video if you are a person who is going to be offended please leave take it or leave it all right so if you just join us please leave if you don't like to watch and see this uh, which mean uh, scholars uh, uh, they make it legal to use a dildo to use a dildo female sex toy read with me this is Ibn al-Qayyim one of the highest the top scholars for the Muslim Sunni he wrote if a woman does not have a husband and her lust becomes strong then some of our scholars say it is a principle a, a permissible for the women to take a crumbage a crumbage uh, okay actually it says in the hadith there which is a piece of leather worked until it become in the shape of a penis and insert it in herself she may also use a cucumber I will never ever take a cucumber from a Muslim house 0684 you can read the hadith but let us read the interpretation for the hadith that will save us our time our companion says let us see if we can make the text bigger so you guys can read it better because yeah, I think this is better. Man, this is big, so big. <clears throat> is the text showing, guys, all of it? I think, yeah. Read with me. Our companion have said, if the penal head, and again, before we continue, please, this is a very sensitive video. If you are a person, who is going to be offended please leave take it or leave it all right so if you just join us please leave if you don't like to watch and see this our companion have said that if the penal head has been treated a woman anus or a man anus or an animal vagina or it is anus it is necessary to wash man you see how clean this religion is i mean look they're focusing now in what they are focusing you should wash I mean, you're telling me they are not clean? What's wrong with you? Let us go slowly again. What the scholar teaching the Muslims now is what to do after sex, but sex with who? If the penal head penetrated a woman anus or a man anus or an animal vagina, or it is anus it is necessarily to wash whether the one being administrated is alive or dead what what alive or dead some of you might be saying this is cannot be real right a Muslim scholar not long time ago he made a fatwa that a Muslim man he can have sex with his wife even if she is dead even if she is dead You can search in Google sex, you know, um, with dead wife fatwa. 
as you see you see the news i'm not going to show the whole you know news but this is the headline the issue of sexual intercourse with wives arose etc etc but it's speaking here about a dead wife a dead wife why muslims they don't have a problem with having sex with dead wife because simply islam make it a principle for them to do so the guy is not creating his own you know uh, story this is what islam teach and he is a sheikh he is just teaching the muslims what it is about so why why he will be ashamed there's no problem this is islam some scholars they say you can have a sex with your wife if she is dead but not more than seven hours after that some they say six they some they say it doesn't matter really even if she is dead for an, for a day who cares she is your halal so when we speak about islam we speak about something you guys totally do not know behind the veil there's all kind of disgusting belief they try to present to you islam as a religion where women are you know they are you know like respected supposedly women are you know we wear we make them wear burqa because we protect them not because you know women is a sex object not because anything you know uh, you know women uh, you know that's it that's what people believe about Islam Islam is must be a conservative religion legally officially having sex with animals Muhammad the Muslim he was over yet and really I like what the Muslim says here whether it is was done intentionally or not intentionally I mean how in the world your penis end in the anus of a dead man not intentionally how the penis of a man he end in a in a vagina or an anus of an animal not intentionally what does that mean like you were behind the goat and the goat suddenly stopped and you were running like an accident And then it says here, whether it is done willfully or forcefully, this is also applied. What, what do you mean forcefully? So now you are worried about a, a rape. You are telling the guy, the rapist, after you rape the women, you have to wash? Is that your concern now? The guy, he just raped a goat. And now you are saying to him, you have to wash. And also, this is apply if a woman places a male member inside her while the man is asleep. Oh boy. I better go. Whether the penis is re erect or not. I mean, this is science. Whether the penis circumcised or uncircumcised, look, look at the details. I mean, come on. Even if it, they are going to go like circumcised, because what if it's not circumcised, huh? What we would do now, huh? What we will do? Should we wash or not? I mean, look at this. This is science. It doesn't matter, brother. It's circumcised or not. All these situations require that a person committed that act. One act committed must be must wash himself, unless the person committing the act or a person act committed on a young male or female. I mean, if those people they are saying you can have sex with 
dead or alive? I mean, why we are surprised? Alive or dead? Let us continue. Let us go to the most stupid things. If a woman insert in her vagina an animal penis, an animal what? She inserted what? A Muslim sister wearing burqa, she is inserting an animal penis? She must wash. And if she insert a detached penis, what? <laughs> and look what he says. If she inserted an animal penis or a detached penis, there is two opinion in this case. Ooh, this is science. This is somebody call Einstein for me. Please, somebody call Einstein. I mean, Einstein, where are you? Where when Einstein was thinking what to do, what to discover, the Muslims they were thinking about solution for a detached penis and animal penis. And the most correct opinion that she must wash. Mean, thank you. Oh, here we go. We got the conclusion. So if a Muslim woman sister she inserted an animal penis or a detached penis, what do you mean detached? You cut it off? You go to the donkey, you cut his penis and you bring it home? What do you mean by detached penis? Let us continue. Again, if you don't like our topic, please leave. If you are having sex with watermelon. Hmm. If a man makes a hole in a watermelon or a piece of dough or leather skin or a statues, hmm. We should guard the freedom status of New York. Don't put Muslims around. And has sex with it, then this is the same as had have said about our type of masturbation, i.e., that is halal. In the same circumstances given before, which as before being in a journey. Okay, you are in a journey, you see a status, you, you are going in Italy. You see a status for Caesar, uh, you know, uh, for Caesar. So what do you do? Have sex with the status. His penis, the, the Muslim women, she see the penis of Caesar is naked. Okay. Halal. It is halal. In fact, it is easier than masturbating with one hand. Thank you. Thank you for the advice. The love guru. All Muslims should certainly be grateful to Ibn al-Qayyim, which is the biggest scholar for the Sunni, has offered his advice on the easiest way to masturbate, and clearly Ibn al-Qayyim has done a lot of personal research in this issue, which means he has sex with the Wat Al-Mina. This temporarily marriage with a woman is haram, but con uh, uh, contracting temporarily marriage with Wat al is halal. What? What? <laughs> and then the author or the scholar he here he have some questions and he said the following and remember those are not my questions i'm just reading with you well it seemed that nasibi the muslim shia they called the Sunni Nasibi, Nasibi, which means the one who hate uh, the family of uh, Ali and you know the children of uh, Ali. 
will seem like Sunni logic having sex with um, um, as many women as one can afford is utterly immoral but having sex with as many watermelon a man he can afford is not the Shia the Muslim Sunni they say to the Shia oh you know if you have money you can have sex muta as much as you want which means you can hire women for sex as many as you want there's no limit but this is this is not only for the Shia the Sunni do do that the Sunni, Sunni, they are allowed to have four women at the same time, and there's no limit of divorcing them. You can divorce four and marry four after one minute, after two seconds. And you can divorce the new four after 15 minutes or two, or one minute if you want. Have sex with them and divorce them and get a new four. four. There's no limit. So both they practice the same thing. But this guy here is being smart, supposedly saying to them, ah, so you are saying it is not right that you can have sex with as many women you can afford, but having sex with as many watermelon you can afford is fine, huh? Is that what you are saying to me? And then he says, let us ask him some questions about the, uh, uh, the wisdom of having sex with watermelon. Uh, there is or sorry ahkam, which means the rules of having sex with, women, with watermelon are there any conditions of the age of the watermelon <laughs> my friend in Islam there's no age even for a child to have sex with so why an age why watermelon she will have an age for an example is it allowed to perform a marriage with intent to divorce and you will grow in watermelon or must one wait until the water woman is a nine years old they are comparing what muhammad did to aisha to the watermelon that's a good discussion that's a good discussion